Hello, my name is Kelsey Kaufman, and this is my reading log for the um, Poetry um, Award. The book I chose is Everything is a Poem. Um, so this book contains 60 poems that the author, uh, J. Patrick Lewis, um, wrote in, over, you know, his life. I think there was, like, books... Um, <clears throat> Sure. Yeah, there's some books in 1986, and then there's some even that are like in the 2000s, 2010. Um, he, what I really liked about it is reading his foreword um, before the poems start. He says, This book is not to teach you anything, it's just strictly to entertain and unlock the imagination, which it was. Um, he has poems in there about animals, people, reading, sports riddles. Mother Nature Places, and some other that are in a mix. Um, I did summarize, like, three of them just because there's so many. I didn't uh, want to summarize all, and some of them summarizing is me just telling you word for word what they were because they were so short. Um, so one of the poems is called A Tomcat Is. It talks about what – this poem talks about what a tomcat does. They watch birds. They, like, wrestle pillows, um, and they even have buttermilk mustaches. And um, the next poem is called A Book Is. Um, this poem is about what books are from hitchhiker's guides to bedside surprise, even to a big enchilada. Um, and then the last poem is The Longest Home Run. I really like this one. Um, it talked about basically what the longest home run was longer than. It was longer than two Goodyear uh, blimps, five Douglas firs, nine great sphinxes, and even there was other stuff that was greater than um, as well. Um, I thought this book was um, very, very cute. There were so many poems, and they were all actually very entertaining. I didn't get bored reading them. I liked reading what the author had to say about them and kind of um, what he thought about, you know, that idea. The one thought that kept going through my head was, where does he come up with these ideas? Like, some of them, I was like, how did you think of this? Like, why did you want to write a poem about this? But I thought it was really, um, really cool that they combined, like, all his, you know, best poems and put them into this one book. And the best part, I still think, is that this book is for entertaining purposes. It is to unlock your imagination. You use your imagination to um, think about these poems and kind of think about what he's talking about. Um, I think this is great for kids because it's like it's a, kind of like an introduction to poems. They don't have to think too hard. They can sit there and enjoy them and even laugh at them. Um, I think what kids will take away from this is kind of understanding the basic of a poem and how they don't have to be some super hard, I don't understand this one. They can be fun and silly and still be a great poem. Um... And then the strategy activity I would do is I would let them pick a poem from this or I would pick one for them depending um, uh, depending on um, some things. But um, pick a poem and decipher it. See what they get from it. I know some of these are a little easy so they could decipher it pretty easily. That's why maybe I would pick one for them um, to see kind of what they think about it. And then I would ask them to pick a topic of their own and write a poem, see what they know. This is like a learning lesson for them. They don't know like a lot about poems or the rules of it or everything. I would just want them just by reading this book and deciphering poems, see what they can come up with, see what kind of poem they come up with, just a kind of fun um, introduction activity to poetry. So that is my reading log for... Um, the book, Everything is Poem.